in this podcast, I want to, again, connect some dots here uh, with this new movie, Asylum, connection to Lionsgate Portal, uh, which equals the birth of Venus, Star of David, cosmic connection to Sirius Star System, and humanity's uh, cosmic rap rapture. Since Prince George was born, uh, there's been a number of uh, marker or points in which I wanted to bring to your attention. Again, this is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. Here we decode the matrix. So basically, I want to show you again continuously how uh, we are living through a script. Our reality is well scripted, well choreographed, and well planned out. And there's a lot at play here, especially at this pivotal time. It's, it's definitely um, a marker with the birth of Prince George on July 22nd. And as I mentioned in my last audio, the Star of David configuration, the last one of 13. And so I was looking at what was coming up in the news that I that kind of stood out for me that was quite significant. And some of the things that were quite significant were that on August the 5th, the Curiosity, um, Mars Curiosity, um, saying it happy birthday to itself. It was, a, it was the first birthday of Mars Curiosity. And... I found this quite interesting in that Marilyn Monroe died on August the 5th and she was very um, significant in terms of uh, she was the one who did the rendition of Happy Birthday for JFK. So I thought that was an, a, a neat tie in. And then on the same day, August the 5th, there was a program that was being implemented at the White House called Geeks I Robots and how President Obama was uh, meeting with a, a number of students uh, who had uh, completed a science project and he had stated that how the White House or how the government is going to be watching robotics uh, very keenly in the near future, now in the near future. This uh, again uh, signaling uh, another play on transhumanism. And because uh, as you probably remember, I had mentioned in a few videos prior to this one how the power control force, those that presume they run this world, are simply wanting to turn us into robots. I think most of humanity already is in that state anyway, a uh, robotic state, under hip massive hypnosis, really um, not knowing who and what they are, would Consider you have to consider that maybe most of humanity already is robots, but what will that transpire into? More of a loss of consciousness, even more. Um, more of that state of of, of 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 mind control, mind control programming that um, riddles most of uh, the humanity, the human species. The other thing that came up that I thought was interesting on August 5th was Japan launched a new battleship on the 50th anniversary of Hiroshima. And also the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, there was a speech that she had put, that was put together for her uh, right before um, there was supposed to be a World War III and that just came out in the archives. So what, and then it was uh, also Martin Luther King's 50th anniversary is this year. So a lot of 50th um, anniversaries and uh, but the J Japan launch of this uh, battleship and uh, the speech that came out for for Queen Elizabeth, uh, a a, for, a previous speech that, that never she never spoke so she never um, she never gave because there was never a World War Three during the time that this was happening. But I thought that was quite interesting because I believe that this opening this this portal this gateway the Star of David and the pentagram and the grand cross, these uh, three planetary um, alignments or celestial occultations that are happening within the month of July and August really is a doorway opening, I believe, from the Christian, Judo-Christian uh, religious standpoint. This is echoing the signs of the seven years of tribulation uh, and Armageddon 
the last days of Armageddon. But from an esoteric standpoint, we can look at this from a very different standpoint. So I'm going to direct you to uh, an article that I posted in my blog, which really gives a more esoteric and celestial uh, uh, preview of what I feel is happening. But again, I'm going to go over some of the key points of the blog post, but I'm not going to read all of it because it's really way too long. But I just want to highlight some of the, the key points there. But I also wanted to let you know, bring, in, bring to your attention that there was a pentagram, interesting enough, that showed up in Kazakhstan on Google Earth, and it was an article. I'll post that in this, uh, this um, in the description as well. But also what's coming up uh, this week in the news, uh, which was very, um, wasn't very well publicized, but uh, NASA came out with a statement that the pole shift, I know many of us have heard of the pole shift, will be happening within the next three months. And this came out August 5th, so as well. So that will be three months from now, will be November, uh, the 11th month. But also remember in the 11th month, we'll have Comet Ison. And uh, apparently there's some Comet Ison will be coming at the end of, uh, of November. I'm going to do a post on this as well because um, apparently there's some triangles uh, that are pyramid triangles that have resurfaced or, or been found in the Bermuda Triangle. So they're all connected. But I mean, if you cannot see that we are living through a script by just by the mere fact of what I've just shared, Maybe it's just me and maybe I just have more awareness that I can see through this, but that's why I share at this level is because I want you to see that you're living through a script. Everything is well scripted. Now, the opportunity for you with this celestial occultation with uh, the Lion's Gate portal and the birthing of Venus, the Star of David and the Sirius star system uh, really is about accessing the higher mind. You having the capacity to access your higher mind, to, 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 to detach from this uh, system that is insane, is going insane, and, and allow you to recreate or co-create a world in which you want to live in. So the solemn movie, which came out 8-8-2013, uh, you know, is, is another example of, of the the type of type of society that or austerity that the power control force those that presume to run this world this unseen force are trying to manipulate us into this comes it through this movie that just came out so take heed through the dying movie industry the archetypal storytelling is at play again here's a story of a movie we have seen a million times before, set in the year 2154, where the very wealthy live on a man-made space station, while the rest of the population resides on a ruined Earth, man takes on a mission that could be bring equality to the polarized worlds. And so we're already seeing a lot of this happening on the physical world stage, which is how they use movies to suggest, through subliminal suggestions, suggest that um, this is something that will happen in the future while it's already happening as we're living through it right now. Although many may not even be able to see that. So I looked up the, the word asylum, E-L-Y-S-I-U-M, asylum or asylum. It sounds like asylum, <laughs> like we are living in a sane asylum. That's what it sounds like to me and we are. We are truly living in an insane asylum here on this planet Earth. But on Homer's Odyssey, Isilium is described as a paradise. And I thought that was interesting. Here we see another suggestion of paradise lost. So I've talked about paradise lost in some of my original videos or, uh, on YouTube. And I'm just bringing it up. It's coming up again. Again, there's, there's patterns that come up. Remember, the power control fours have a script. And they follow a script very diligently. And they use celestial occultations, they use numbers, the numerology, the number system. Uh, and they have their own wording or use for the number system, which is very different than what we believe to be the number system. And I've talked about that in previous videos as well. 
and uh, but patterns is very important to them and dates dates and in order to facilitate the same patterns or repeated patterns over and over again and once you start learning the nuances of how they operate then you can just understand that each year we go through the same scenario just with different scripts different different scripts with same pattern and so um what we are witnessing here again is another example of subliminal suggestion at play and that in some future time on earth will be divided between the haves and the have-nots Isilium being the ultimate great gated community a jewel-like space station inhabited by this only by the super rich and and see this is how the power control force also presume those were in this world get a lot of the politicians and people in high positions and corporations to do their bidding is that they promise them I know you know you know they have to have promised them that they will be a part of the super rich they will be a part of those who will live in paradise and they if they if they continue to do the bidding for them I bring this movie of the opening of this movie up because it's again 8 8 2013 and 8 8 usually has some significance to the opening of the celestial lion's gate so again the opening of this particular movie is by design remember we are living through a script and and or many scripts for that matter we are truly what we must come to understand is that the body of humanity was in fact created to destroy the awareness of our eternal paradise state again we must come to understand that the body of humanity that we are was in fact created to destroy the awareness of our eternal paradise state everything has been constructed in our world systems to completely mislead misform misinform and misdirect any anyone searching for truth the rabbit hole goes so deep here and it is so true that everything is completely designed to mislead you to misinform you and misdirect you and so that's why it's so important so critical for you to take back your thought the thought process and the fabricated mind that you believe is yours now just because the thought and the thought process and the fabricated mind is not yours that you as awareness unique awareness are beyond thought the thought process and the fabricated mind that think you think is yours you still need to use those tools in order to have your experience here and create the utopia or the paradise that you would like to be living in that's more in, in con more congruent with who and what you are as a unique awareness but unless you come to know and experience yourself as a unique awareness you're not going to be able to detach from the thought the thought process and the mind that you think is yours in order to um, reclaim it reclaim your sovereignty in order to create the world in which you want so that's the opportunity here more so than ever at this particular juncture now maybe many people will listen to this or many people could potentially listen to this as I peruse a lot of the judo christian and uh revelations type material and i just go oh my god this is just insanity well a lot of people will look at this and go this is insane but this is my experience so i'm sharing with you what is happening and transpiring in my life and so we're not here to judge anyone but you know i mean we're all seeking truth at at whatever level uh, whatever capacity that we we've come into this ex existence as but there's no reason uh, why um, humanity needs to be diluted uh, for any any longer uh, and I think that what we're experiencing on this physical plane is a remarkable opportunity at this particular time in human history that we can transcend this insanity and and literally change the script and literally change the direction in which we want to and and not and not adhere to uh what's the reality and what has been being spoon fed to us so the purpose of humanity if we look at it from that perspective has no real purpose but to facilitate the dream of a few who wish to maintain their dream 
and create mass destruction on this planet Earth. And all, all, the per, all for the purpose of fulfilling their dream. And not to mention this world is a finite system upon which your essence as awareness has the capacity at this particular juncture on the physical world stage to override the program. And I'm going to explain below how this can happen more than ever now and this with the celestial opening uh, portal of the lion's gate. However, before I proceed, it's important for you to become aware that the whole body of humanity is an illusion, an utter fabrication, that the third dimensional experience and the creative fabrication of the body of humanity is the veil of deceit. Again, the veil of deceit that makes it utterly impossible to rationally conceive that humanity itself is the deception, keeping the disconnection from reality intact. This is so true and it's, you know, when you start getting, you understand what's really going on here. It's almost like you become the director. You become the master of your destiny. And knowledge is power, but knowledge and being are synonymous. You must be the being aspect is to come to know the truth of who you are and recognize the truth of what I share here. Because until then, uh, you're still at the whim and mercy of the power control force. So we are already in our paradise state. The power control force knows this. We don't know this. They know this. We are already perfect pure, eternal, and knowing. And we are not this body of humanity, neither are we in we this third dimensional illusory mass of energy and spirit. I'll have to talk more about that too, because that's an illusion as well. The fact that we believe that we are energy and spirit and that the, the light, the light is actually the, the mass, master seducer and seduces us into believing that this reality is, is real. It's the light that is the lie. But I'll have to talk a little bit more about that in the near future. We are unique awareness. We know all. We have to learn nothing. Again, we have to learn nothing. If it wasn't for the thought process that indoctrinates the power control force, which was created by the universal architects, the thought process that is, we would be aware and present and completely reconnected to eternally drinking from the foundation or the fountain of wisdom in our paradise state. So that's the opportunity. Now the opening of the Lionsgate portal is usually symbolic of humanity's initiation and transfiguration by which the personality of the individual, that is, that is you, the personality aspect, comes under the control of the unique awareness that you are by passage through the soul. Now you don't actually have a soul, and I've talked about this before, but these are concepts that we actually use to explain things in this dimension. Because you exist beyond these concepts. You exist beyond the soul aspect. But we use this language to decode the matrix. Now the path of al alignment from the lion's gate leads us to Sirius which has been veiled in the clouds of mystery for a very, very long time. And so Sirius, through the human, systemic, and cosmic heart centers, centers celestial occurrences during the summer of 2013, presents a unique and cosmic set of planetary alignments specific to the dates of July 29, 2013, this concerns the celestial imagery of the birthing of Venus. It is set to occur in the midst of the Star of David planetary alignment of July 22nd, 2013, and the Grand Cross alignment starting around August 17th to the, August the 27th. And I found this interesting is that this is when they're going to have that million march, Black Panther march, which I talked about maybe a little bit in my last couple of previous um, I was looking at the dates because that's happening August the 24th. So it's happening within this Grand Cross alignment. Also, um, as you know, um, the Washington has shut down all the embassies uh, around in, in, in Europe or in, um, in the Middle East, um, foreign embassies. 
and uh, there's some some discussion going on that this is a pre 9/11 type of um, script at play here. So we probably could be looking for a very deep impact kind of event uh, that could be happening in August. So let's look out for for something like that. Anyway, within the next three months, there's going to be some pretty significant things that we will happen on this physical world stage. For sure, the script is unfolding. Now, the opening of the Lion's Gate, and this is just mirroring. It's just mirroring. This is a celestial, as above, so below. So this is what's happening on the celestial stage. And what happens on the physical world stage, well, we can, when we know, because we're knowing what's happening on the celestial stage, and there's some significant um, events transpiring on the celestial sphere that we know that as above, so below, that, that there are going to be significant things happening on the physical world stage because the power control force use celestial occultations and dates um, these alignments in order to facilitate their dark and sinister program. So just keep that in mind. So the opening of the Lion's Gate is a cosmic portal symbolizing the path of freedom from thought, the thought process, and the fabricated mind you think is yours. This is ultimately the opportunity for those who wish to take back control of their mind. This is the opportunity for you to take back control of the mind, the thought, and the thought process, representing a cosmic rapture of sorts through the Sirius star, star system. Now, the Sirius star system, I'm just using, it's a concept that I'm bringing forward. Uh, it's just energy. Um, it's just a pointer. But there's a lot that goes on with regards to Sirius star system, and especially in the, the Freemasonry, um, the Ma Freemasons uh, believe, I believe on some level, that they believe that this is where their God resides. So we'll talk a little bit about, about that a little bit further. You'll kind of see the connections here. So what this allows us to do is to further decode the matrix and create an alternate reality other than the one that's being spoon fed to us by the power control force through the path of Sirius. And it's not necessarily through the path of Sirius, but I'm just see showing you how this is, this is a focal point. This is a, a turning point, a very pivotal turning point for the consciousness or the awareness that is you to break free from the mind, the mind and the thought process and the personality that you believe is you. Therefore, rapture is cosmic enlightenment, which allows you to break free of the confines of the third dimension and reconnect to the unique awareness that you are. So yeah, I kind of see it as um, a portal, a gateway for you to, a launching pad uh, for, for, for many, to actually reconnect with the awareness that you are. Will most people do it? No. Uh, is it something that could potentially happen? Sure. If you, you are designed, uh, if you are inclined for that to happen, you can use it as an opportunity. If you, if it resonates with you, it's resonating with me. Something is happening very profoundly energetically and so we're just connecting the dots here so in order to understand and intuit the principle of freedom we can look to the path of Sirius as a path of love or higher mind providing us the opportunity to take back control of our mind the thought and the thought process now how we get how do we get there following this path requires the awakening of the heart and the Ajuna centers and building the bridge and eventual raising of the Kundalini this is all, these are all concepts of 3D, uh, the New Age movement. Uh, but these are things that we have to do in order to come to know ourselves, in order to break free of the illusion of this matrix. This is the path of electric fire whose methods involve rotary motion and rhythm. Its attributes are cosmic rapture and bliss. Yes, it is your right to live in bliss in your paradise state, experiencing yourself all the time as your unique awareness and, and, and detached from the mind-body construct and allowing your, thereby allowing you to, 
to recreate, to co-create a world in which you want to live outside of normal, to live outside of the realm of normal, to detach from this normal, which is really insanity, and to create a world in which you want. The path to freedom is a path of love. The serious path, serious path can be described as energies coming from Sirius, related to the love wisdom aspect or to the attractive power of the solar logos to the soul of the great being. The path of al alignment to Sirius is through the human, systemic, and cosmic heart centers. I'm just reviewing some of the information from my blog post. Well, one of the key points I want to bring up, and we're just about finished here, is this Sirius star system, Sirius along with the Orion star, star system, and Monocura star system again makes up the what I call the celestial trinity, which is again equals the atom symbol, which I've talked about in previous posts, which, which comes from all the creation myths of, of all the religions, the trinity. Okay, so what we're seeing here is the trinity again showing up. So here we have another play on the atom symbol upon which the foundation of the universal matrix, but from an astrological perspective. Sirius was astronomically the foundation of the Egyptian religious system. It was considered the embodiment of Isis, wife. Sirius is Isis or the electron, and consort of God Osiris, who appeared in the sky as Orion. Now, Orion is father Proton. There are several versions of the myth of Osiris, but in all of them, Osiris is killed by his brother, Seth. Grieving Isis gathers up the body of her husband, breathes life back into him, and conceives their son, Horus. Thus, Isis is often depicted as a kite, a bird of prey with outstretched wings, symbolizing her power over life and death. And rounding out the celestial trinity with a reference of the atom is this symbol, is Monocurious, the sun, who is acts equals the sun or neutron. I read that Monocurious does have some interesting features to observe with the aid of a small telescope. There is Beta Monocuriotis within Monocurious, and it is an impressive triple star system. The three stars forming a triangle, again, which seems to be fixed. So I found this quite interesting. Again, that stuff is like way out there, I understand. But, you know, this is how I see the world now. It's like, this is what I'm seeing. So I'm just expressing a perspective of what I'm seeing. So we go back to Venus. And I wanted to go back to Venus because this is a very pivotal piece in the birthing of Venus and the celestial portal that's opening up. Now, the five-pointed star is a symbol of Venus. The six-pointed star, which I've talked about, symbolizes humanity because the human represents the inter intersection of involuntary and evolutionary arcs. This is the atom sim symbol upon which everything in existence relies upon. Through spiritual development and illumination of the brain, and there is what is called the anchoring of the Star of David, that is attunement to higher frequency energies and information because all of this has to do with the brain. The phi symbol, the hieroglyphics of the phi symbol can be placed on anything and what we get is uh, a rendition of the human brain. And there's this guy named Danny Wint Winton, I believe, who's done some really interesting stuff. I'll put a connection to his um, his uh, videos on my description if I can but everything that we're experiencing here is really has to do with the human brain and how the power control force the architects of this universe the creators of this universe have control of your, your mind have control of the brain and everything that they are doing in this physical world is to, to maintain that control that's, that's the only way that this illusion can stay intact and so that's why i say that you must your mind must become sovereign you must wake up to the knowing of the truth of who you are so that you can reclaim your your mind back so that it can be 
you can be sovereign. And you need that. You will need that. You need tools to guide you, to direct you through this insanity that's going to... What's, what are you going to do when things start getting really bad? You know, if you can learn how to detach from this system, if you can learn how to decode this system, if you can learn that this you are living through a script, then you're not going to take it as seriously, right? And so, you know, decoding the matrix is a part of your evolution. It's a part, it's not just the, the spiritual coming to know yourself and becoming self-conscious and knowing yourself as unique awareness. You also need to understand the world in which you live in and and the situation in which you find yourself in so that you do not become um, a pawn in this this um, this script that's playing out, that you actually become the master. The master, you can become uh, a real player in the whole scheme of things. That's what we're, we're trying to achieve here. So I'm gonna leave you with the rest of this, this article, but so really, you can that you can read at your leisure but therefore our goal of is the transformation of the lower mind the redemption the redemption of matter to spirit through the vehicle of the human soul the transmutation of the six-pointed star into the five-pointed star through the mind the fifth principle the path to Sirius is focused on the higher mind plane mercury the planet of intuition as hierarchical ruler of Scorpio Mercury governs humanity. Sirius was called the dog star. It was the star of Mercury or the great instructor of mankind. So if we just look at dog star, we turn that around. It's just a play on words. It's a God star. It's God. So from the power control force standpoint, they believe, maybe they believe that their God comes from Sirius. I don't know. Maybe you know more about that than I do. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So the plane of the higher mind is a plane of atonement, the blending of diversities into group unity. The law of magnetic control is the law of the higher mind plane, governing the spiritual triad. So yeah, when we start coming to know the awareness of who we are, and we start traversing in, in, in understanding the mind and how it works, and how we must control our thought and the thought process. And magnetism really does come into play here. And, you know, the power of the mind is more powerful than heat, than light, than fire. The power of the mind, because of the fact that we have been manipulated, has this information has been kept from us. And so we must take back control of our minds. We must become um, very diligent and very um, protective of what we put into our minds and 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 what we what we um, what we do with our minds. Because as you become more aware and more control of your thought and your thought process, as as awareness, uh, you're going to be able to manifest a lot faster in your life. And so, you have to be really control really um, careful about what you think about and what you allow into your mind. So you can't be allowing negativity to consume you because when you're working in the higher levels, you will attract exactly what you think. And so that's, that's become the master of your mind. It's so exciting, the time that we live in right now. So I'm going to leave you with this. So when we cease to identify ourselves with material things, we gain a proper sense of what your value is. You cease regarding possessions and earthly existence as of major importance. You can still have your possessions, but if you're attached to them, um, you're not going to get very far on this journey. Um, following the path of right relations, right thinking, right creation and manifestation of a world in which you desire to live in, then truly paradise awaits you. But it's when you journey within. So I'm going to leave that with you. I'll be doing my next post shortly on the pole shift. And that's coming up in November. That's 
hardly been talked about. I thank you so much for tuning in. Join me on Facebook and uh, leave any questions or comments. Talk to you soon. Bye.